Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome to Asian Filmists. My name is Ray and I love movies. And the movie that we'll be talking I love about today movies is... Too. I love movies too, okay? Don't, don't, don't freaking just forget about, you know, if you said movies, I came waltzing in and... You know, are you talking about movies? What movie are you talking about? Wait, wait, excuse me, sir. Are you a movie character? No, I'm a hero and I've saved this town and probably saved your ass multiple times before. Remember the wind? Remember the wind? The wind's name is Strega. That's what, that's, see, you hear the wind blowing through? It's gonna be like, yeah. well, the kind of wind I like is named Cyclone and Joker, so get the hell out of here, you Joker. Because nah, nah, the movie nah, we're gonna, gonna be stay. talking about today is the Kamen Rider Exade movie, not no Strega. Who the hell is Strega? You, you need to study more. Wait, is Strega a Kamen Rider? No, that, what are we that, talking totally about here? We're, we're talking, talking about, about the Kamen Rider Exade movie. Maybe you should talk about that. Do okay. your job. We're gonna be talking about the Kamen Rider Exade movie. True ending. Is it the true ending though? Uh, I assume so. This movie seems to take place sometime after the TV series has finished because there's no Kamen Rider Kronos. There is no Kamen Rider Chronicle happening. So basically this company is making you pay to see the ending rather than let you pay at home to see it on TV. Pay at home? That's is that actually a thing? No, oh, I don't know. know. You can watch it for free. No, I don't have money. But apparently since this takes place after the TV series, spoilers, some characters live and you get to see them all in the movie. Oh, here's a spoiler. Oh, you don't know some spoilers? Hey, here's for all the nerds out there. Spoiler, you'll all die alone. Okay, anyways, just, what, what, what's the fucking movie about? What is this about? Oh, well, it's uh, it takes place after the TV series. There's a bunch of these ninjas that start infecting yeah. random bystanders uh -huh. with these ninja stars that give, uh -huh. that give them the gamer virus. Yeah. And Xade and his friends have to go on and save the day. Dude, I do that like every day. You like if you could just, you see, if they just bothered to like do a documentary about me, you would have just had the same friggin' movie. You know, you wouldn't have had to pay, was it like 1300 yen, 1800 yen? It was 1800 yen. 1800 yen, dude, I do that every day. But do you have a cool song sung by Miyota Daichi whenever you walk into the room? Um, I have a better song. You have a better song? Yeah, I have something sexier, like Shaft. Yeah, just, yeah that, this is like a normal day for me. I do this, I should just charge people to like follow me around for a day because I do this every but day. But I don't think people will follow you around because you know, you ain't no Neo Heisei writer what, what, or anything what? like that. What the, the what? You know, Neo Heisei. Neo, what the fuck does that even mean? You know, all the common writers from Double Up until now, you know, Neo Heisei, come on, get with the times, you old man. What is that, like a neo-Nazi? No, it's new. It's new Heisei. Basically, all the Heisei writers that take place after Kamen Rider Decay. How have okay, you been so keeping? Is, okay, have so you been paying attention oh, to okay. American Twitter right no, now? No, no, no. It was probably one of them. Like you know, those net talk. Is that like? Is that it? It's net talk. It's probably that that net kind of talk that that dibble babble that you have on the net where you you say a word and then it, it clicks and then you think it's cool. It's it's not. It's not cool. No. But it's how not else cool. are we going to associate all the sec the second half of the Heisei era of common writers? Why don't you just call them the new guys? The new guys? Yeah, the new guys. But come on, man, we need a cool name, just like how Godzilla fans have their cool name. You got the Heisei Godzilla movies, and you got the Millennium Godzilla nah, movies. new guys just works fine. New guys. Why, why do you gotta? I don't know. Whoever came up with new Heisei probably just lives in someone's basement. But what about, see, the next Kamen Rider movie that come out this December is Heisei Generations Final. You know, yeah, I notice how no Neo is in that though? You're right. What have I been thinking this whole entire time? Nothing, that's why you're doing this video. Anyways, yeah. what, 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 so what is this? What is All right, these are my notes that I take. I usually take this, take my no trusty notebook with me, take notes telling about the good things I like about the movie and things I thought that were bad. Okay. So that's what this notebook is for. Alright, why don't you just go with that note then? Alright, I don't know if I should talk about any of the characters. You just so... talked about the story. No, but I didn't talk about any of the character, the setting. But I guess if you're watching this video, you probably know who Kamen Rider Exade is, so we can skip all of that. Yeah, so we don't need, it's a not need to know basis. Yeah. So, some of the good things that I thought about the movie. But first, I really like the movie exclusive form. The, I don't know what the official name of it is, but he wears VR goggles. Uh, VR, mighty, mighty, what what do you call it? VR creator gamer. Creator oh, gamer. Oh wow, that, that's original. Yeah, so he puts on these <laughs> VR goggles. Yeah, the suit doesn't change so much, except he adds a cape, so he kind of looks like uh, Kronos. That was a little long coat. And he has these VR goggles, and he basically has a magic, not even pen. Magic a ma shot. A magic pen. A magic. <laughs> I said it because all the game, there are games where they let you do the same thing that he was doing in the movie, and you all uh -huh. always use a pen. I know what kind of pen I use when I want to make magic. 
yeah. and I th I'll give you a hint. It's in between my legs. <laughs> See? They thought that that's... They, yeah, <laughs> they're honk. really getting a lot of that. Yeah, uh, honk of your horny, yeah. Yep. So what he does with his magic <laughs> pen is he makes all these different shapes. Yeah, I do that too. <laughs> to, uses them to attack. They all look like this kind of brushy liquid. God damn it. You see, they could have just followed me and made this movie. But can you they make could... magic rockets appear as a final yeah, attack? that's also the pen. <laughs> Uh, I think maybe Toei was onto something when they made this new form. Yeah, man, I should get royalties. Hey, Toei, where's the money? VR creator, gamer, whatever uh -huh. it's called, is definitely one of the better game exclusive, game movie exclusive forms that they put out in any of these writer movies. You know, speaking of VR, have you ever had one of those VR porns? Those are great. Mm -hmm. You take one of those Tengas, but you have the battery powered ones, mm -hmm. <laughs> and you're all like, oh, but how it's can you awesome. <laughs> It's awesome, Do you speak dude. from experience, Drega? Yeah. I'm a proud... I proudly endorse that. <laughs> Alright, moving along from the suggestive <laughs> attacks by Creator Gamer... <laughs> With my pen! <laughs> Another thing I really liked was the movie-exclusive writer. Well, not necessarily the design, the character himself. I thought he had a Fuma. pretty Fuma, Kamen Rider Fuma. I thought he had a pretty good character arc. They actually spend let you spend enough time with the character to actually make you get to know him and kind of under, kind of feel where he's coming from. Unlike other writers, it's kind of like, oh, by the way, I am, I am the villain writer. I am this dude, and you, you only get to spend like five minutes with him. Yeah, I mean, like usually when I'm like when I'm fighting guys like that, right? I'm just like kicking ass left and right, taking names. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't give a fuck. Mm -hmm. you know, because I'm, I'm a superhero, it's my job. Mm -hmm. But this guy, you know, he has like, he has a little bit of a background and it kind of makes you want to, you know, help the guy out. Mm -hmm. you know? and, and, you know, so you could, you could sympathize. Sympathize? Even, I was, don't, don't fucking correct me. <laughs> I, I gotta know, say, I've been leveling up on my language a lot, so. <laughs> it makes you want to sympathize with, with the guy and, you know, it's, it's, it wasn't bad. If I was, you know, I'm actually in the movie. Are you in the movie? Yeah, I'm in the movie. What was I'm your What was your character? Oh, they're all fighting in the in there, and I was in the background. I'm like, oh, hey, what's Wait, the were fuck you is? Were you one of the ninjas that got killed? No, no, no. I was in the background, in behind behind like you know one of the oil drums or in the walls, and I I was just walk in, and I'm all like, oh, what the fuck? And then like I just went to I was in the back. I was eating Cheetos. All right, why didn't you help? Uh, why didn't you help out the superheroes like save some lives? Hey, no, no pay, no work, dude. No, no, no freaking you know volunteer work for me. I'm I'm all about the. Dope. You're about the dope? Yeah, you know they call me Doughboy. Doughboy? Yeah, oh. because I make dope. Have you heard that song by, by uh, Ice Cube? I can't give a I make it. dope, but don't call me Doughboy. Yeah. You know who else makes dope? Toy with this movie, because you know they're going to be selling a lot of toys with this. I think they're probably going to make a lot of money with creative pens and new figure arts featuring the new form. You know, you, you only have to add an I and an S to that just to make it more risque. Pen is mightier than the sword. Like Brave Sword. You hear that, folks? The pen is mightier than the sword. And speaking of swords, I like Brave in this movie too. Like he was, he had some funny moments. Like one thing they always do in the in the movies, they kind of remix his catchphrase or his his catch his catch gesture. Like well, it's a catchphrase. Catchphrase. Yeah. Let's begin the operation. Or there's nothing I can't cut. Here yeah. he, he they they always remix it a lot. I, and I think it, in each movie, and I thought it was pretty funny and cute in this movie. Did you wait? Did you even watch the movie? Wait, why are you even here? I told you, fuck, I was in the movie. Oh, okay, yeah. I've seen the movie because I was in it. All right, so. I was in the back, I was eating Cheetos, and I was watching them doing their thing, and I didn't help them. I couldn't help them because, you know, I don't breach contract. Mm. So, but, you know, as far as anything in the movie that stands out for me, I guess it's that new kid. Ah! Build. Yeah. That Bob. Guy was, that guy was, Bob. I know Bob. Yeah. Bob the Builder. Yeah, yeah. That guy was like a... He was okay. Again, not as good as me, but he was okay. Like, yeah, he did make his appearance in this movie. He's gonna... When is he gonna start being on TV? September? No? Is it September? I can't remember, but sometime soon. I, I don't care. I don't want, I don't even have a TV. I don't have that kind of money. So what was cool about the, the new Kid in the Buck Builds uh, the appearance in this movie. Well, he's fancy, you know. He's got some. He's got some style. Yeah, build was cool. Yeah. I think it was cool. Except, you know, he's very stylish, and very fashionable. But I feel like he's lifted his fashion from someone else before. I don't know. Someone uses a lot of green and black. 
some like someone like double. Oh uh, no, I, I used to sleep in history. I don't remember that okay, kind of crap. Okay. All right. <laughs> One last thing I liked about the movie was bits of the final battle when it it kind of looked like a cutscene from a game. Uh, not even just cutscenes like those. Uh, what do you call it? With the, with third person. It, 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 it's like it goes from third person to first person, and then you know how like you play. So God it looks. Like, it looks like 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 okay. this. Like, yeah, like this. Okay, stop, 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 <laughs> stop. Pause. I'm not. It's not working. That, that doesn't yeah, work. I don't. I don't have the world. You're not fucking Dio, okay? Sorry. Kind of. You know, have no hair. But still, the part in the movie was pretty dope. Yeah. Like, uh, it, it looked like it was straight out of a game. Uh, it went from first person to third person. And even went like you know you, when you play God of War, it cuts the cutscene for a little bit, uh, so you can do like a little button uh, mini game. Yeah, to like you're, you're, you're jamming on like the square button. Yeah, and so stuff. you can proceed through uh, to the next cutscene. That's how some of these scenes. Yeah, felt except like. minus the cutting the heads off and then like showing Medusa's head to like the guy turn him to stone, and then kick him in the nuts and make him explode. Oh, yeah, yeah. But that doesn't happen. I mean, Xavier. It happens uh, if I would do it. If I if it was my movie, I, that would happen. You know, Muteki Gamer had like dreadlocks, like it could be Medusa. It's not. It's, it's not, the, not same. the same. It's just Bob Marley, but gold. You know, like so, you cannot. But he got the Super Mario face, though. The super, the superstar. Well, those are all the things I really liked about the movie. Anything yeah. else you want to add, Strega? Uh, it was, uh, you know, it was okay. I mean, like I didn't have a. a big problem with it. Again, I could do a better movie. I know that I could do a better movie, but you know, if if you like this kind of shit, then by all means, you'll you'll fall in love with this movie. Yeah. I mean, I didn't think it was that bad. It was definitely better than the Ghost movie, better than the Drive movie. Oh my god. Better than the not the guy movie. What was the guy movie about? I can't remember, but the it was soccer. Better than the guy movie. Not as good as the Forza movie, nothing will ever top that. I was pretty much like, you know, in all of those movies, you just have to look for me in the background. Eating Cheetos? Uh, no. Uh, I, was, I was eating like Doritos in one movie and then Cheetos. The only time I was eating Cheetos was in this movie. Well, let's talk about the stuff that we didn't like about the movie then. Okay. So that's what's, my, what's, that's my speciality. All right, what's one thing that you thought was bad? As you know, there are two things that I'm not a fan of, okay? Mm -hmm. One is old people. Uh -huh. Two is kids. Uh -huh. Okay? I can't friggin' stand kids. And there's like a whole bunch of kids in this movie. They're all snot nosed brats. Can't stand them. You know, there's like, you know, these kids running around. There's nothing. If you're a superhero, you're gonna have kids running around you. Uh -huh. And this is exactly like that. And I can't stand that. Mm. You know, I, it just makes me wanna like smack them upside the head. Mm. You know, they're all running around saying, Hey, you're a doctor. Can you heal me? And I'm like, yeah, here. I'll slap the fibers right out of you. But you know, it, is a, it is a kid's show. It is a, a story for kids. I don't see why some, why many adult fans get uppity and tidy about uh, a story that's meant for kids. But you, know, but you know, I have to agree with you. Speaking of kids, this movie has a lot of other past Kamen Rider and even Super Sentai movies focuses on a spoiled kid at the center of the story. And I think that kind of trope has just been done to death and it's just really annoying when it comes down to it. It's like, yeah. here is a superhero trying to save the world and there's just one kid. It's like, you gotta, do you really gotta do that each time? You don't need to do that. You know, I've saved all types of people. You know, the least I love to save is freaking brats. Mm. I, I, don't, there's no, I don't like saving them. So I, I think they, this movie could have done without that little bit in it. Yeah. It could have been reworked to, to incorporate a, a story for kids without having a, a spoiled kid out of the center of the story. Yeah. Another thing I didn't like, you know, going away from the kids, was the design of Kamen Rider Fuma. I thought the, the character was alright, the, the action was alright, but the design I didn't like. It was like a mix of it had Forze's color palette mixed with a little, a little bit of Gaim in there, and then you have the Xade eyes. I thought it was, it didn't look any original, to be honest. I mean, like you know, you're when you're a hero, like me, you know, your suit is your uniform. Mm -hmm. You're gonna be going out in that thing day in, day out, and it is important to look freaking cool and badass mm -hmm. and make people respect you. Mm -hmm. If you're pink, you're not gonna get respect. Don't. I don't know, Decade was a pretty respectable dude. I mean, everyone everyone ran away in fear of him or 
met him with fear and he you know, was well pink. the thing is about with common rider dickhead is that like you, you basically gotta know that he's kind of like just doesn't have his own home so he's basically like this traveling homeless dude so it's okay for him to wear pink well i, I don't think it's any okay for anyone to wear pink but exactly so are you saying exade is not a respectable rider I'm just saying that he has his own thing and I'm okay with it. All right, all right. You know, whether it's the left or the right or down the middle, that's his personal problem. Mm -hmm. I'm all about the poontang, okay? Speak this, it. I'm all about that, okay? I'm not, I'm not into the other S so stuff. Speaking of that, what did you think about Poppy Pipapo in this movie? Well, you know, uh, I've I've actually PPP'd in her poo 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 before, so is that how she became a bugster? But what I was gonna say about Poppy Peepapo is that I was kind of sad and a bit disappointed that there wasn't much of coming out of Poppy in this movie. She just was just there for like two minutes and then it's never again. Uh, it's okay, just leave her in the kitchen. <laughs> hey, she she deserves her own time in the spotlight. It's okay, you know, she could have her own spotlight. Just get on stage. You know, there's a pole there too. But moving away from the stripper uh, references, uh, <laughs> one other thing I didn't like is that there's a little bit too much medical drama for my taste and not enough ass kicking. Yeah, I, I mean like, they want to make it look like ER or something, you know, but you can't because it's a kid's movie. Mm -hmm. So, you know what I like to do when ER is on? One of my girls that I date, I see this show, of, this episode of ER, and they're opening a the guy's brain. Mm -hmm. You know, because they have that, that warning, right? That medical warning at the beginning of the show, mm -hmm. for not for the faint of heart. So the guys, they're opening the brain, and then I call up my girl, I'm like, hey, turn it to channel six, it's that nice puppy dog show you like. Mm -hmm. And then I just hear it like this, oh, okay, oh, I wanna see that show. Ah! I love, I love doing that shit. So is that a normal girl's reaction when you tell them that you're watching the Kamen Rider XA movie? Nah, they just look at me bad and, you know, they just walk disappointed, away. They disappointed walk away. Disappointed life. Okay. God, thank God that never happens. How has that happened to you? Uh, I just that's a yes, that. people. It's sad when you're one of only a few grown men without any kids and family attending these kind of writer movies in the theater. You know. I think you better get on that then. Yeah. Better get busy. Yeah, I think so. But speaking of the medical drama, there was a lot of drama that was highlighted in this movie with a lot of rain. Yeah. It was like rain. It's like can't they couldn't they find any sunny days to film? It was no, like you, you half the a, movie was rain. You know, the, the thing is, you could take the the making ofs of any of these shows and you take a look at it. It's just like they got two hoses and they just spray it all over the place. That's pretty much what it is. But at least there was this one part in the movie where it was raining and then all the guy riders were just standing around looking the, like the it, guy riders. Yeah, it's just, just so I can exclude Poppy Pipapo and. In that you make scene. them sound like the fucking village people, dude. <laughs> well, they did form a boy band, you know, the Exade Boys. You know, mm. you even had laser on top of a uh, on top of the car, just kind of like <laughs> I thought cradled. You were about to say on top of another dude. <laughs> <laughs> on top of a car, just kind of huddling to himself and listening to the dramatic conversation that's going off to the side. Mm. It's like it looked like a boy band music video. <laughs> I mean. That was funny. I thought it was kind of stupid, but it's still kind of funny. Yeah. That that kind of scene. Think right of there. in sync, but not synchronized. What did you think about the 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 CEO of the rival gaming company that comes in and is wave speaking? Johnny Makashima. Johnny Makashima. This way of speaking English and Japanese in this weird accent. Well, it's kind of funny that you know he likes Japan so much, and he's I'm guessing his character is half Japanese or so. Possibly. I mean, I'm half Japanese, so I know where he's coming from. But the thing is. Uh, I have the common sense to know the difference between certain kanjis and he doesn't, but you know, I mean, he's a guy who just likes ninjas, so just let him like them. I mean, them. maybe he's a representation of a lot of Japanese fanboys out there. It's like, oh, I love Japan, ninjas, look at this. Yeah, those are like the, the foreigner fanboys, yeah? Yeah. That's pretty much what it's like. But I thought his accent was a little bit distracting. Like, hey, Mr. Kaginari, what are you doing? Yeah, you, you gotta realize I deal with a lot of that stuff every day, especially when I'm trying to like boot some people out from hostels. Mm. You know? I, do, I deal with that all the time. Oh, look, more foreigners. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, let me, let me ask you, Strago, what did you think about the action? Did you think it was all right? It was okay. It was Again, okay. I mean, like, it's, it's like, you know, you take a look at them, they're trying hard, but it's not me. You, mm. know? you compare it's it to me, and it's like, it's like, 
Okay, how, how old is this kid? He's like what? 18? Oh, which 19? one? The, the, the main character? Yeah. You know, he's a train he's a trainee at a hospital. I think he's 22 years old. I'm like in my 30s, okay. So like, I mean, anybody in their 20s, they're not going to be experienced in battle or whatsoever. They're, they're you know, they, they let, they're so emo, you know, they let their emotions handle it. With a lot me, of rain. Yeah, with a lot of rain. That's why it's all emo. Me, I just go in there, I get the shit done, and that's that. I well, what I was going to say about the action, I thought up until uh, maybe halfway through the movie that the action was kind of typical, formulaic, generic even. Again, it's not yeah. me. Uh, they, 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 don't, they don't have, you know, you gotta have style. Mm -hmm. If you're gonna do something, if you're gonna be a superhero, you gotta have style. And you gotta, you can't just say, hey, let's do what I did last time and then I'm gonna throw my finishing move out there. It's not like that at all. Mm -hmm. You know, you gotta use your head and you gotta have style. And you know, this, whoever directed this just yeah. doesn't got it. Speaking of style, I thought this could have used more style if they had more form changes or even just showing off the different weapons that have accumulated across the series. You know, I feel like they it was a good chance to just, because it's towards the end of the like when around the time when the series is going to end right now uh like it's i think it's the last month of its of its broadcast so it would be a good chance to like hey this is everything that's coming uh, across the tv series there are all the weapons even bring in their level one forms so there were no level one forms at all oh, you know that's what it is working in a big company you know you're bound to forget stuff and i guess you just want to finish the movie just to put it out there yeah yeah, Everyone's that's probably the what they did. I mean, yeah. like, I mean, if it was my movie, I'd have TLC in it. Mm -hmm. You know, I like to put some, and I don't mean tender love and care. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about T-Boss Left Eye and Chili. Rest in peace. Left Eye. Uh, speaking of Chili, you know what wasn't hot? Well, I thought the way they brought in build in the story, it was cool. The the, the sequence, his his debut was all right. I just thought it was kind of a cop out that they didn't introduce him as part of the story, like. They've introduced most of the other new writers in past movies. No, but I mean, like, it's, you know, he's going in, doing his thing, say, hey, I'm the new guy, check it out, and all this stuff, trying to, I, I've been there, I've done that. I know what he's doing, you know, I know but, what he's doing, and it's just how it is. The way they kind of painted his appearance is that it's like, it's a big cliffhanger to the, the Heisei Generations movie that comes out in December. So it's kind of like... I don't know, I, I, I felt just kind of a cop-out, the way they did it. I don't want to say too much without spoiling it, but I felt overall, the way they presented it, how it and how it ended, it felt kind of like a cop-out. Macaroni and cheese, dude. Just, it's, a, it's, a, it's its own thing. They got their own thing. We got our own thing. Mm -hmm. That makes no sense to you, but uh -huh. in due time. Macaroni and cheese? Yeah. I guess I better take a mental note of that. So last question, Strega. Uh, overall, uh, th well, this is the eighth Neo Heisei writer. Which, out of all the Neo Heisei writers, which... Then why do you keep saying Neo? What the fuck is It's that? the buzzword with Kamen the buzzword. Movies. Okay, so like Emperor Akihito is Neo Akihito now? Is that it? Hey, they could what make about, a pretty good anime what, for what, that. what about his daughter? Is Aki, is Neo Akihiko gonna jump in his freaking, you know, rocket boots and then like try to strike me down? I don't think so because his name is Akihiko, not Neo Akihiko. Hito. Whoever made up that term, you know, I bet it's like some guy who just has like one of them trench coats and is behind those fancy computer screens, you know? Saying like, hey Strega, your movie sucks. Exactly. Worst movie ever. Oh, you know what, buddy? News flash. How about I just take the computers and then I take my big ass sword and fuck it with it? So going back to the original question, Strega, uh, among, in all the movies featuring the Neo Heisei writers, where amongst this is the rank? I'll tell you where I, what I think. I think it's in top 50 percentile. Like it's for me, Forza is at the top. You know, Double is pretty is up there too. This is definitely better than the Drive movie and the Ghost movie. You know, so that's why I'd say you know, it's it's definitely better than the Oz movie. Oh, you mean the one with the ballerina who breaks her leg and she says, "My leg, my dream." Is that the one? Yeah, that one. Yeah. The one with Oda Nobunaga, some way, but yeah, I'd say this is definitely in the top 50 percentile because I honestly like the X8 series. Mm -hmm. But anyways, what about you? Where does this rank? With this movie, if zero is a and ten is a, I give this movie a. You fucking figure it out.
But yeah, why don't you leave a comment and try to interpret Strega's words as where he ranks this movie amongst the other Neo Heisei writer movies. Oh, yeah. A Neo Heisei movie. That's almost the saying, a Heisei Heisei movie. Well, you know, after Build is finished, I wonder what they're gonna call the next wave of Heisei writer movies. Oh, they'll call it Omega Heisei because that sounds cooler. Or Neo Neo? I mean, they already did Cho Superhero Tyson. No, we're well gonna, no, we're entering the Nova Heisei. The Nova Heisei. Ah, the Nova Heisei. That's a, that's we're you, entering that era. You heard that here first, guys. Nova Heisei. Oh, oh, what about the Delta Heisei? Oh, Delta. Era. There you go. But anyways, what did you guys think about the Kamen Rider Exade movie? Or what kind of questions do you guys have? Leave a comment below and let us know. Anything you want to leave on this note, Strega? Well, first of all, I have a movie coming out, and it's probably going to be better than any of these Heisei movies, and it's going to have a lot of sex, a lot of violence and some language problems, you're gonna love it. It's called Strega. Well, go figure, it's my movie. Yeah, I know all about it. Well, why? I'm your cameraman. You? That's right. You don't see me in the background eating Cheetos while I'm holding the camera? No, I must have missed you when you're eating chicken because it looks like that's what you're eating all this whole time. Hey, and you better stop and go on a diet if you're gonna shoot me on camera, you're gonna fall. I'm, I'm quick. Okay, so you're gonna have to follow me around. It's gonna take a while because you're gonna, all that chicken you're eating, you're gonna throw up you're from running around. I assure, you that, I assure you that the amount of grease I inhale each day doubles my speed like it's an MMORPG. Uh, that sounds too nerdy. I just don't even <laughs> wanna come back to that. But Any, yeah, oh, just go. No, no, go ahead. You no, can, no, hey, you're interrupting me? No? No, you just, you're saying something. Go. Oh, I was gonna say, No, anyway. I'm gonna interrupt him. Okay, watch the movie and subscribe to the other channel. What's that? The you, you and that Bueno kid, that Bueno jerk. Yeah. What's his name? Bueno. Yeah. Oh, that guy's such a. That's like, that guy's such a tryhard too. He always wants to be like me. Just, anyways, I guess you could subscribe to his channel because those, are, these two jerks, the Bueno and this guy, they're they're all like shooting me and without my permission. But what can I do? You know, restraining order. You get a restraining order, but. Subscribe to GPTV because that's where you can see all my exploits. And also subscribe to Asian Film and so you can join what? into more discussions of Asian video? films. Why are you what? pimping this out? Because this, is, this, is, this video or, is going to be featured in Asian films. Or you can subscribe to nothing, okay, Asian nothing, and then like, you know, that'll be the better one because like, nobody wins except for me. And Xade in this movie. No, me. Anyways, leave a like and subscribe. No, don't subscribe. Don't subscribe. And we'll subscribe to me. And we'll see you guys next time. No. Okay. I'm no, you can't cut. Only I can cut. Cut. Emono wa tashikani itadaita ze.